Good morning, Redeemer. I want to start by asking you a question. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Just think about that for a moment. Just trying to think, you know, think up an answer to that question. When was the last time you did something for the first time? Well, there are a lot of people who are answering that question at the moment. And if you look on social media, you, you will find so many examples of people who are making bread for the first time ever, where they are cooking cakes they would never tried before, where they are doing all sorts of craft activities that they've never done before where they are setting up little obstacle courses in their back gardens for their kids to run around and get some exercise and have some fun. Now, that is part of our how we are made and designed. We have a creator God and we are made in his image to be creative. One of the most astounding verses in the Bible is Genesis chapter one, verse one where it says, God made the heavens and the earth. Wow, that's just, that's just stunning. That's just enormous. And God made us in his image so that we would be creative as well. And in our busy Western world, sometimes we are too busy to be creative, so we pay someone to do it for us. So we pay someone to make our bread and make our cakes, and we pay someone to... Um, to do all sorts of other things, our entertainment. We get someone to do it for us. But I believe in this uh, coronavirus lockdown stage, it's, it would be a great opportunity to try something that you've never done before. Um, it doesn't have to be baking. You can try meditating, meditating on a verse of scripture and writing down your own thoughts. You can try journaling, just writing down your feelings of what's going on to, to look back on at future ages. So there are many ways of doing that. There, I think what stops us sometimes is that we think we're gonna make a mistake. And what you notice about creative people is that they make mistakes. But that's okay. It's okay to try and do something and make a mistake and have to stop and start again. So this is the, uh, this is the fourth time I've uh, tried to, to do this video. But I'm gonna pers persevere and keep on going until I finish it to my satisfaction. So I really want you to try and think about you know, what, what things you can do that you've never done before. Obviously, you're in the confines of your house and your apartment. But what things could you do just to try? I've been doing a little bit of painting. I've been doing some gardening. I've uh, grown, started growing my tomatoes. I'm hoping for a good harvest in the summer. Um, so there, there are many ways in which you can try and do things that you've never done before for the first time. I'd love to hear some stories of people who have tried uh, to do something for the first time. Not, uh, not in any sense to, to boast about it, but I just encourage you to try and do something creative. That's your task this week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.